Amber and today I'm going to show you how to use Dean's for column subtraction. I'm going to start by showing you column subtraction without exchanging, then I'm going to show you with exchanging. First I'm going to show you how to work out 87 minus 53. I made the number 87 using 8 tens rods and 7 ones cubes. And underneath I have put the number I am subtracting which is 5 tens and 3 ones. When we do column subtraction we always start by subtracting the ones first. I'm going to start by subtracting the 3 ones from the 7 ones. I need to remove 3 cubes and bring the rest down into the answer box. I'm going to subtract 5 tens from the 8 tens and bring the remaining tens down to the answer box. So 87 minus 53 is 3 tens and 4 ones which is 34. We can show this by drawing out the deans. And then with the numbers written without the Ds. This time I'm going to show you what happens when there are more ones in the second number than the first number. I'm going to use column method to work out 92 minus 47. I've made the number 92 using 9 tens rods and 2 ones cubes. And underneath I have put the number that I am subtracting which is 4 tens and 7 ones. We need to remember to subtract the ones first when we do column subtraction. First I need to work out 2 minus 7. This time there is a problem. I can't take 7 cubes away from the 2 cubes. I need to exchange one of my tens rods for 10 ones cubes and put them in the ones column. I now have 12 ones so I can subtract the 7 ones and bring the remaining 5 ones into the answer box. I then need to subtract the 10s. 8 tens minus 4 tens equals 4 tens. So 92 minus 47 is 4 tens and 5 ones, which is 45. We can also draw deans to show this and write the calculation without the deans. I hope you have found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you soon. Bye!